our healer. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. This week, we're calling it our Healing Week, where each day of this week, we will talk about receiving God's healing. Uh, I will share uh, a simple word of encouragement around healing, and then we will pray and expect God to heal people. Now, some of us, uh, or I would say maybe many of us, are maybe in perfect health, good health, no problems. And, um, uh, but we, I want to encourage you to stay with us through the course of this week. Um, even though these, you may be in perfect health, each and every devotional on healing will encourage you, build your heart up uh, so that you can continue to walk in health and also be available to be used by God to bring healing to other people. And for those of us who may have uh, certain ailments in our bodies and struggling with certain kind of uh, afflictions and pains or sickness, as we go through this week, I want you to expect God to heal you even as you stay with us through each of these devotionals. In the Psalm that we read, the Psalmist David says, bless the Lord and bless him and bless his holy name, bless who he is and do not forget all of his benefits, all of his goodness to his people. That's what his benefits are. It's because you are a worshiper of God, because you love God, you honor God, you reverence God. These are the benefits, these are the good things he pours out on his people. And as David begins to enumerate these things, he says he forgives all our sins, he heals us of all our diseases. Our God is healer and his word says he heals us of all our diseases. I want you to get this in your heart. There is no disease, no ailment, no affliction, no disorder, no malfunction, no sickness or disease uh, that may have touched your body, that may have touched your body, which God cannot heal. He heals all our diseases. He is God. He is the one who designed our bodies. He is the one who created our bodies and is more than able to fix it more than able to make it whole. And He redeems our life from destruction, from being destroyed. He uh, crowns us with His goodness and kindness and tender mercies. And He also satisfies our mouth with good things and renews our youth like the eagles. So God is our healer. He heals us of all our diseases. Why don't you take a moment and just say, God, you forgive all my sins and you heal me of all my diseases. I thank you, God. I worship you for that. So let's pray, and as we do that, expect God's healing to touch you right where you are. Let's pray. Father, you are our healer. You are the one who forgives us of all our sins. You're the one who heals us of all our diseases. And we thank you for it. We bless you for it. And right now, in the name of Jesus, let your healing power touch every person listening now and bring them complete healing, complete wholeness. In Jesus' name, let every sickness leave their bodies now. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.